So to give you guys a heads up about the um, to what the delay is happening right now is the team AEM is from an esports academy in Montreal. They they swapped out their entire team and dropped in five players who are not on any kind of uh, registration list. And so we're taking some time to re-scout. Okay, viewers who just uh, popped in, just so you guys know, there is a bit of a delay with this game. Here, hold on, let me uh, let me mute this so you guys can hear me. There's a bit of a delay in this game because AEM pulled a roster that was not included on any registration rolls, so we did not have a proper scouting report. So we're taking a few minutes to go ahead and get this scouted out. Um, we're almost done, so we'll start this here in just a second. Um, um, yeah, one of you guys has to drop out. What Addy, one of you guys has to drop out so the other guy can come in. Okay. Has to go and spectate. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> one of my players is here. We we do compete and stream for the same room. So oh, we're trying to get the, the tournament organizer is also streaming this game. And so... Um, they're waiting to get him in, and then we'll do a swap, and then we'll get going. So Addy is a star player. His uh, his jungle has been amazing today. We're two and zero, oh, and honestly, it's because of his jungle. So we're gonna buy him a we're gonna buy him a Snickers bar. Micah is not playing in this game. We're rotating Jonah in at top. So we'll probably put Micah in in the next game. I know, sad panda. I need better emotes. I have a bunch in Discord, but I can't use them here. So. Yeah. 
but for Jonah, we should be happy. Ooh, I'm getting a bunch of dings here. Danny and Allie said hi, Addy. Are we ready to go, Addy? What's up? Are we ready to go? Are we ready? Um, we're just waiting for the spectator.
All right, I think we're about ready to start. I think we got everything cleared up. Uh, just waiting for our captain to start it here. All right, welcome to game three. Sorry for the delay. Um, but this is game three of the Coupe Minto 2021 International High School Tournament put on by our Canadian friends north of the border. And game three, we take on AEM from Montreal. So this is our second Canadian team that we take on here in Arizona. So it's the sun versus the snow, I guess. Um, so kind of interesting. I found out that AEM is actually an eSports academy. Um, didn't know such a thing exist. And, a, and how do I get a job there? Um, but now we're doing our picks and bans, so we'll go ahead and figure things out here. So the bans are almost done. What's up, Blue Carolina? I will say that uh, I will be turning off the camera and a microphone in about 25 minutes. I have a conference to attend with the National Federation of High School uh, Athletics. Uh, talking about esports, so I apologize for cutting that out. I will the stream will keep going. Um, I'll put it on auto direct because unfortunately I will be looking at that. I thought this match would start on time, but since we're 15 minutes late, I don't know if we will finish on time. So let's just take a look here. Is who Mackenzie? Mackenzie's Frozen Cat 3030. You can only so she just picked MF. So we're now back to our second round of bands. Each team will get one, 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 one to knock out the final two bands. Yep. We'll talk about these bands during the spectator delay here. Um, so these are not in order, and then that's because we don't have all champs unlocked, so we put our players with the most champs kind of towards the top, except for in this case our top player who has the fewest, we're letting him pick first. So it's, it's kind of goofy. Um, it's actually for Willow, this is our top ADC support, and I think for AEM it's uh, top jungle ADC.
Probably interesting. Okay, so uh, let's talk about these picks and bans. Um, for AEM, they picked uh, they banned the Talia, which is smart because Talia has dominated the last two games. Um, not quite sure what the rest of these bans were. Um, the Graves maybe because one terror one does play a nasty Graves, but our mid laner doesn't play Cat or Fizz, so I don't know where that's coming from, and our support player doesn't play Blitz. So these three middle bands don't make a lot of sense to me. For us, and this is a quick, I was not in on the discussion. I only overheard part of it because some of my players are here in the arena and some of them are playing from home um, because of COVID cases here in Arizona. I do know the Kaisa was supposed to be their scariest, um, as was their mid player was also a little bit scary. Uh, the Mordekaiser was a comfort ban for chill. He doesn't like playing against Mordekaiser, so that was a great that was a great ban for them. Now Willow chose Alawi in the top lane and J4, very strong, um, tanky uh, tankiness that can provide. Uh, J4 does provide some CC with his alt and can pop over the wall with his his flag. Uh, Malazar, very strong mage mid lane, uh, brings a lot to the table. And Alistar is a tanky support, which is, I think, what we're going to see over here. I think we're seeing... Oh, no, it's not a tanky support. You have an Ezreal Lulu, very traditional ADC support. And then MF, always a good choice in the bot lane. Um, I just got two S's on her yesterday, so i um, super happy. I need one more to hit M7. So super happy, MF. Uh, this is a pretty strong team. This is not as strong, I think, as the last one with all the... Uh, yeah, coach plays. Why, don't, why would the coach not play? Um, not as strong as I think as our last match where we had the three globals, which you could see. But over here, what I think yeah. we're seeing is you're having Ezreal Lulu. This is definitely your ADC support. Olaf jungle. And the question is, are we having... A set top and a Darius mid, which is what I, th the way I think it's going to go. Um, or is it going to be flipped? Is it going to be a set mid and Darius top? Um, I personally think we're going to go Darius mid. So, um, super excited for this. I'm interested to see how this goes because I was not there for any kind of scouting discussions because of the switches that did happen. And I understand why, um, but there should be more transparency before you have matches oh tis the lunch bell apologize we are playing while school is on so it'll be interesting to see so we got about a minute so enjoy the music
Wow, my mic hasn't been on. Yeah, that intro is super cool. Um, we are the Wildcats. Um, so I know that's a cougar, but there wasn't a Wildcat out there. But a friend of mine made that intro for me. I was talking to him about it, and he's amazing. So if you guys want stuff um, done like that, just let me know, and I'll pass along his name to you. Um, I'll type my uh, email here in the chat, and if you guys want to... Uh, get stuff like that send me an email and I will forward your information to him and he can get you some stuff so we're looking at like a pretty traditional start okay so it does look like we have a set mid um, if we're doing a five point a five point defense which both teams look like they are doing this five point um, it's not a tiger it's a wild cat um, we're doing a traditional five-point defense, both teams taking it kind of easy. No er early um, invades. Looks like J4 is going to go for blue first. Um, Olaf will definitely... De Olaf should go for red, but um, we'll see what happens. Olaf was my first jungle champ. I still like him, but I do so much better with Warwick. Kha'Zix. Though I, I was doing really well with Amumu and uh, Ramus, But I put down Ramus a while ago. Okay, so Olaf is going pretty traditional. Just a blue start uh, for top lane. Ramus is... Or Jarvan Gate has the uh, blue. Alawi definitely helped. That's going to put Alawi a little behind here. Um, but it's okay. Allow we can allow we can scale. Just get those tentacles out there. It's a bad hint. I, oh, sorry. Shouldn't talk about that. So bot lane looks like just a traditional poke here. Gun goddess uh, MF best skin in the game. One of my favorites. Though I do I like the purple one better than the, the white and gold. I think the animations are better. Uh Malazar oh here, let me uh let's move some people around so we're in the right order. There we go. So now we can see a, a true comparison here. So Darius definitely getting ahead on the CS, but allow you ahead of us. I think uh, Lowie needs to work on her CSing here. But uh, Chill Chill is one of our newest players. He's a freshman this year. Learning the game. When he came to us, I believe he was level 12 or 13. I had to talk him out of doing Valorant because he likes Valorant, but Valorant isn't offered at our school as an eSport. So he's come very far, gotten very good. Um, still has some of his comfort uh, picks and... We need to work on his aggression a little, but every player has room to grow, and Chill Chill has made amazing growth this season. So, Olaf takes the, uh, Olaf takes the Scuttle Crab, but doesn't go in for the gank, and I think that was kind of a waste there. Yeah, I would have gone for the CS. I would have gone for the CS there. But, um, J4, gonna clear out jungle. It seems like both junglers are uh, just clearing their own jungles. Alistair moving up and getting that vision. Very critical. Vision is, is super useful. So it's that grandstanding that uh, Set just did that kind of is very frustrating about this game in general. Um, there was no need for him to go and flex his dance there. Uh, that's some solo queue mentality right there. Well, my 
anything going down here. Oh, the Alistair just missed the stun. Uh, how's MF doing down here? MF doing all right. Alawi. Alawi has caught up with the CS, so great job for Chill Chill there. Um, that has always been traditionally one of Chill Chill's struggles. How um, much gold? 800 gold. Did need to go back. Um, interesting, a long sword there. J4, I think, probably needs to go back. Probably everybody could go back for Lilo. Um, so could Ezra. I think they're just waiting for a big push here in the bot lane. Or maybe a kill on this Ez. Ugh, apologize. So I will put this on auto direct, and I apologize if I miss any kind of fights or anything. Um, I do have to hit that conference, so I apologize. I think Olaf's going to go down here for first blood. Good job. Darius comes down, but really can't do much there. Unless, you know, set, set didn't come up. That was a wasted opportunity right there. Um, I think that would have been a great fight. Totally worth it. And Darius is in the pit. He's going to try to flash over, yep. Yeah. So... Wasting uh, one Terra One's time, but that's okay. That's okay. Darius used both Flash and Ghost. Let's see if Darius is going to. Those tentacles are just crazy. Crazy force multiplier for Alawi, who's already so strong, anyways. I don't think... Yeah, J4 did go back. So it looks like probably building Sunfire. And uh, building Gore Drinker on Olaf. That was a missed opportunity there. I think that was a bot lane that could have collapsed on the Alistair all by himself. And the J4 is already ahead with his smites. Looks like uh, going for the Rift Herald before the Mountain Drake. Interesting, interesting thought process there, but um, kind of makes sense. Not a lot of lane cryo on the bot team. Well, kind of. Um, I think Olaf is trying, making a, he wants to make a play for this Baron. Or excuse me, this dragon, this baron. That's way too early for a baron. Um, now J4's got this. He's got this herald. I'm wondering what the thought process here is. Okay, that's interesting. So Alawi is pinging that she has teleport ready. I think they're gonna try to set up a fight here. Maybe for drag. Oh, I think uh, Taro is just gonna take this drag by himself. And that's going to give Willow the first drag. Alistair comes up. Great support. Coming in to help. Um, question is, is MF comes in just to seal the deal. Uh, luckily, Alawi does have some vision here. Can hopefully get away. Good flash to get out. Uh, chilling smite. Ooh, and Darius pulled back. And that was a good gank. Good gank. Not worth a dragon and a herald, though. 
but a good gank. And it looks like bot lane is going to take this tower. Maybe even two. They, they push it. I'm not quite sure why they didn't go for a full clear on this tower. So, definitely controlling this, controlling the flow of this game. Uh, vision's good. Uh, I think the Malazar is going down there. I don't think the Olaf got really that involved. Um, big waste of an alt for the Olaf. So, uh, AEM is ahead in kills. Gold is about equal with a slight lead for AEM, but Willow has one drag and one herald advantage, and Alistair's just kind of holding the line here. Manamune, I hope I'm saying that right. I think I'm butchering it. I've only heard other players say it. I've heard it said four different ways. go there we go the CS is equal on the top and that is something that chill chill has struggled with all fall season so doing a good job there really proud of uh the work he has put in on that alawi and getting comfortable with that champ um he's trying to i think pull the darius back i don't think alawi was aware that olaf was there but olaf wasted a lot of time waiting on that gank Uh, mid lane, definitely a huge CS difference. Little slide ahead for AEM in the bot lane, but neither side really having a kill. This is more traditionally what you see in like an LES or LEK type game where the kills are low in the, in the first little bit. Um, most high school games, the players are going for kills and they're struggling for kills. But we have a minute and a half on Rift Herald and a minute and a half on Cloud Drake, so... We're not going to see a Mountain Soul or a Cloud Soul. Um, Willow's first two games were Cloud Souls only, so we're going to definitely see an Ocean or a Infernal Soul. And Infernal Soul, I think, would help Willow more than it would help them. That's insane. That's insane right there. Let's go back and look at that, because that was crazy. So, Alawi, there comes the gank. Alawi gets underneath her tentacles and pulls the soul kills the darius and kills the olaf while dying at the same time that was amazing definitely worth it double kill missed another kill and now my game's freezing um he's down and it looks like uh set went down as well what an amazing kill there. Yeah, Blue Carolina, I don't know what's going on with Nightbot. Apparently she just doesn't like you. They're coming in. It's gonna make it a thing. Gonna make it a thing. And Alawi coming in. Can Alawi come in and get some help here? 
No, unfortunately not. Olaf definitely a bit of jungle difference. I think that Gore Drinker, which is broken, um, is definitely helping, right? So that, that Thirsting Slash plus you want to be damaged, which on top of Olaf's already natural bonuses. Um, Gore Drinker, I think, was just made for Olaf. Okay guys, I'm gonna put this on directed camera. I apologize. I do need to hit I do need to hit that conference and so I'm gonna turn off the camera and whatnot, the camera and mic. So let's watch this, we'll see how things are going. I will I'm basically just turning this way to a different camera and computer. So we'll see how this goes. It's looking like a really good game, really tight. Um, 16 minutes, we still don't have a second drag for either team. Um, and so, so I think that drag is set up for success. I think if they wanted it, they could have taken it. All right, guys. So enjoy the game. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, murder in the top lane. Okay, okay, okay. I got to go. I got to go. I got to get ready. So thanks, guys, for watching.
Well, I am sheepish. That game act that uh, thing actually starts at one, not at not at uh, noon. So I am back. We're gonna go manual camera here. Let's see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Okay. So AEM did take the Cloud Drake. Um, Willow is ahead by in both towers and gold, and slightly ahead. One one kill more for AEM. So let's see. Bot lane, tower is gone, mid, top, and both mid towers. Okay, great job. So I'm going to assume Willow got a second Herald without watching. I'm so sorry, Blue Carolina. I had to set it up really high because I was getting bad spam earlier in the year. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's pay attention. Willow was winning this team fight here mid. Uh, MF getting away. Looks like a big team fight's building up here. Olaf Alawi in the bot lane. Going for the gold. In the bot. So now four towers to one. Big fight, big fight mid. It was 4v3 there. Willow we'll managed to hold it. No tower for AEM to fall under. A lot of pings. Looking at, ooh, an Infernal Soul in 15 seconds. Well, it's not Soul, but it will be an Infernal Soul for whoever gets it. And it's gonna break. Oh, that suppression by the Malazar. Great alt from the MF. This is just going to open up. That an infernal, an infernal soul is, uh, or infernal Drake is Willows if they want it. There's nothing they can really do. Maldazar keeping uh, these two away. And set. I don't know what Set's doing. Set's running around. That's a fr that's a free dragon. Uh, so ultimate ultimate haste uh, from the cloud cloud dragon. It's good, but can you really compare it to six armor and? Uh, or attack damage or damage. I don't think I don't think you can. Let's look at some gold here. Darius really needs to back. So does Alawi. And Malvazar need to back. Wow, Alawi's Alawi's getting ahead there. Um, J J4 is not being the murder ball that he normally is. So kind of interesting. And neither's MF. I think Malvazar Malvazar is the leader for both teams. But the bot lane is. Interesting. Uh, Israel has much higher CS, but I think the MF is actually playing a little better. J4 clearing out his Krugs. Both teams have pigs in the pit. And the MF, the MF alt on a suppressed. Olaf is down. Oh, is this a three? Is this going to be a? Qu uh, oh, it's only two. Maybe be able to get three. That's a Baron. If they want it, that's a Baron. They. I don't know why they didn't go Baron there. They had the advantage. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. I don't know what J4's doing there. Under tower. This is a Baron if they want it. They should have gone earlier, but, you know, that inhib is important. Got two minutes on an Infernal Drake. 
that was definitely pushing ahead for Willow. Yeah, I think that was a wasted opportunity for a Baron. I think the Baron would have been better than going mid and inhib. Let's see, let's see what happens here. But if they all back, we still got gold. J4 needs to go back and build. That Kraken Slayer is super useful for MF against a set and a Darius and an Olaf. So. Kraken Slayer is getting nerfed in the next patch. Makes me a little sad for when I occasionally play the. Uh, Great job, Chill, getting that, uh, okay, who's doing what here? Start a fifth hour, if you guys aren't in fifth period, head over, teacher will mark you tardy. You got five minutes to get to class, otherwise you will go to sweep. So you got 35 seconds here. Poor Baron, just takes an Ezreal alt. I mean, Alawi could probably take this drag by herself and they can, the rest of them can keep, keep them off the Baron. Or if they go, if they go drag, take the Baron, I don't know. Okay, it looks like they're gonna do a, a big drag drag river fight. What is Olaf building? That was just a free drag, basically. Instead of pushing in, Willow Willow very good on the objectives today in all its matches. They're falling back. They need to fall in on Baron and end this. having to play defensive. AEM is playing defensive here, has lost all the initiative. There's not much they can do. Willow has vision all in these jungles. Um, Gary's going to try to split push. I mean, five towers to one. We're looking at a 5k gold difference. Four kills. This has been a low kill match. I know some of the other matches, looking at the tournament discord, uh, some of the other matches have had monstrous amounts of kills, like 22 takedowns. Um, but Willis seems to be playing it a lot more mellow, just control, control, control. We're almost at the 30 minute mark here. Another tower down for red team. Willow is kind of split there. Having to play defensive. I mean, Willow can kind of dictate here whatever they want to do. And I probably need to go back. Now we try to get this red. I'm gonna make her more monstrous. The Divine Thunder. Pretty good. Really good against tankiness. What tower went down? Oh, it must have been this tower. Okay. Both teams very aware of the Baron, I think. See what happens. Oh, 
apologize. Alright, we got one minute for the fifth hour, so make sure you're heading over. I'm gonna make a push on this inhib. Maybe send Malthazar's bugs. Uh, mid diff for sure. I know. I know Ezreal has way more CS, but did not make a lick of difference in the bot lane with uh, her being four zero oh, and oh and oh, four and zero. Oh. Um, same thing with the Alistair. Oh oh and three, but still. just clean. A um, little long. A little long. Um, both teams need to kind of make a decision. we got a minute on Infernal Drake, which would be an Infernal Soul for Willow, which is just monstrous amounts of damage. I mean, they're already plus 8 damage, um, plus the armor. I don't think the alts are really helping the, the cloud. Lowey doing a split push here. Eat his soul. If I remember right, because I'm not too familiar with the Lowey, eating the soul doesn't actually damage the other champ, but does heal a Lowey, if I'm correct. If I'm not, you guys let me know. Okay, we got two seconds on the Infernal Drake. Drake is up. Baron is up. A um, little bit of vision right there. J4 is just trying to solo. Solo this drag. Willow is just keeping these guys occupied while he takes that drag, gets them the Infernal Soul. He can solo this pretty easy. This point, J4 is pretty good, even though he has 0-2 and 6. Um, really kind of far ahead. That Sunfire is going to help him quite a bit. So that is an Infernal Soul for Willow. That Infernal Soul is just dealing damage. Just damage, damage, damage. All adaptive. MF getting some uh, CS. She's behind, but not too bad. And then look at this monstrous difference in vision. 63 to 15. Um, as a support, you really got to focus on vision, even mid is having good vision, um, jungle is having good vision. At this point they should be, I don't know, at least one to one. So their vision score should be around 34, 30. Um, but support should be one and a half, definitely has that. It's almost two. Is this a Baron for Willow? Yeah, they're clearing. I don't think there's anything A in the game here. can get her tentacles in this tiny spot. Whoever comes in there is just going to get murdered. Don't know why Set went for the red. I would have given it to Olaf or Darius. 
or Ezreal. Oh, and the J4. Oh, the, the J4 alt. The MF alt. Oh, Lowie too. I mean, that's just crazy. Um, that was a poor kill. This is a Willow Baron. This, this, this game's over at this point. Um, it's all downhill from here. Snowball is rolling. It's going to turn into an avalanche. Amazing, amazing job. Good job, Willow. Um, great job. Now, this is not to say AEM is out. Really good defense here. Could hold them back, but I don't... There's just too much weight on Willow's side. I mean, said to get that Ravenous Hydra, though. Um, a lot of bounties on Willow, but... Divine Sunder on the Ezreal. Interesting. A lot of AP there. And Armor Pen. Yeah, I just, I think Willow just built better. MF for a, a split push. Two v three in the mid lane. Three v four, but you have double split pushes from Alawi and. Lowey and MF, and these three are just keeping them occupied here in the mid. I mean, three Willow guys are keeping five of them bundled. Lowey's going to eat this top turret, MF's getting this bottom turret, and inhib. I mean, just, it's, that's just monstrous. Olaf trying to get her, get her here. Ooh, bad flash, bad flash for the MF. I think Olaf will actually, oh, maybe not. Olaf did take down the MF, but Alawi's just kind of solo doing her thing. And now you have the rest of them. And that's a four. Darius is the only one alive. And he's just barely back. I don't think he can stand up to this. Yeah, I think this is game here. Both, both Nexus turrets down. They might even take him inside the Nexus. GG Willow, great job. AEM, well played. Um, had lots of fun. Let's take a look at these stats here, all right? Don't know what's going on with my stats, why they're taking so long. Did definitely want to look at these stats. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Well, I don't think we're going to get these stats, so I apologize, guys. Hey, um, thanks for watching. We have one more game, and that is going to be at 12.30. So in 13 minutes, um, this is a makeup game. There was a couple teams that dropped out. So this is we're going up against CHS Bruins from Division 3. So this is kind of a preview for tomorrow's final playoff tournament bracket. And yeah, that allow me was insane. So um, let's see if we can do some stuff. This has been giving me some problems. Anyways, uh, that will be in about 12 minutes. And at one, one at twelve fifty, I need to pop into that other meeting. So, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we'll see you in about fifteen.